asteroid warning, odds of a space rock hitting millions is higher than people think. This is what Charlotte Davis of Express UK reports. Asteroid strike has the impact to cause millions of casualties. This is according to one expert who warns that the odds of an asteroid hitting Earth is higher than most people think. Asteroid Day is held on the anniversary of Siberian Tunguska event, which obliterated swaths of Siberian forests and remains to be the most powerful explosion to have ever been documented. As the 111th anniversary of the Tunguska event approaches, geologist Randall Carlson is warning concerning the terrifying consequences of the event of an asteroid striking Earth, an Earth impact. He told RT News that the Tunguska event of 1908 was probably a 150-foot asteroid in diameter and that its impact was equivalent to 15 megatons hydrogen bomb striking land. Mr. Carlson warned any kind of asteroid strike to the same scale as the Tunguska event would take out an urban area. And he says if you had an event equivalent to the Tunguska event of 1908 over a densely populated area, you would probably have millions of casualties. The, he's, he's a, Carlson is a geological theorist and he warns that over, one, um, over 800 square miles were literally flattened and just mowed over as they were matchsticks during that Tunguska event in 1908. He added that it is a very powerful blast wave that would have the power to knock down buildings as well. About 200 square miles of that area surrounding the epicenter was basically incinerated to nothing following the event, according to Carlson. When he was asked what the possibility is of another asteroid striking us, Carlson warned the odds are higher than most people think. For anybody that is paying attention to this sort of thing, there is regularly near misses. Last month there was one. Pretty much on a monthly basis, there will be some of this cosmic debris that is flying by in the nearby cosmic neighborhood. The asteroid expert also referenced the Chelyabinsk meteor event of 2013, which was just a small object, but caused widespread damage and injured hundreds when it crashed into the Earth over Siberia. I think there were over 7,000 buildings that were um, damaged because of that. He warned even a small object is still likely to cause damage. The Earth is pelted by tons of space rock every single day, he says, but most are no bigger than pebbles. Here we are at Google Earth, and I just wanted to show you a couple of the uh, asteroid strikes that we could see from the air. And one of them is, for example, this one here in Quebec. And you can see it pretty much from here. Can you see it? There it is. That's one of them. I'm sure there's a lot more that are smaller. But this looks to me that it's a double one. A double whammy. One here and the same size right there. There seems to be another one around here. And uh, I don't know what that is there. But uh, we've also had something that looks like co huge comet impacts. Look at this thing here. Look at that. I still don't know what Hudson Bay, the story with Hudson Bay is, but to me it looks like that is definitely some kind of an impact. Uh, this is the area of the Yucatan Peninsula where we had the uh, dinosaur impact, uh, asteroid impact about 66 million years ago. They said that's where it struck from what they have found there. And look at this thing here. Let's pull out so you can see very interesting stuff here. It's as if something like the finger of God pushed this up and stop right there, and these are volcanic islands right there. We were recently having a very bad earthquake uh, swarm right here in the Puerto Rico. But look at this. It's as if something just slammed into it, 
and stop right there. And we have a, so from the west to the east. And we have the same thing down here. Look, from the west to the east. And again, you have volcanic islands here at this arc right there where it stopped. You can see that right there. Isn't that strange? And it's also, it looks as if it cut this island, this land mass, sorry, uh, and pushed it along here as it came slamming and stopping right there. It could have been that this was at one time connected. And we have another area that, uh, well, we know that I did do a past video on Australia has at least 50 impacts. Um, Okay, now, if we go here, you have another one right there, look. This one came, again, from the west to the east, slamming in and stopping right there around the Papua New Guinea area. Some kind of a comet. Huge. I'm saying comet because I assume they're a lot more, uh, they're much more massive, bigger than asteroids. Look at this. And again, volcanic islands right there. So our Earth has a lot of scars from impacts of the past. You could imagine the tsunamis that these things would have lifted and um, the destruction that would have been caused by these things. So yes, uh, we still don't have any means of protecting Earth in case of um, an asteroid strike, unfortunately. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.